Jason Verrett. Uh, what do you expect? You think he's going to start in this game? And I'm hoping so, man. Yeah, I'm hoping so. I mean, I know the real thing is to have a player like Verrett in the postseason, but you know he's been slowly working his way back. He's been active for what, or he's been available for what, like three, four weeks now. Uh, mm. He's had the bye week. I think it's time to see what what you have in Verrett and, and where he's at. Uh, if Verrett can be the same player he was a couple of years ago, I mean that would be great for the 49ers and. I'd love to see it. I'm rooting for him. Uh, and so I'm hoping that we do finally get to see Barrett uh, in action this week. I got a, an idea as quality control. Okay. I don't think it's fair for him. I mean, his whole history, he's gotten injured so many times. He's had so like multiple seasons where he had one game and out. One yeah. game injured, out for the year. So you got to be careful with him. And again, he didn't have training camp. What, you really going to start him and play him 100% of the snaps and say, hey, go get him, buddy. Rotate I don't him. think that's fair. Rotate him. You're yeah. rotating right guards. Yeah. You rotate right guards. I mean, no one else does that, but you're like, you know what? It really makes the job easier for Burford and Brunskill. It, it, neither one has to work as hard. It's good for them. Genius. I yeah. love it. Do it at cornerback too. Yeah, I think that's dead on. You, you want to work him in to make sure he's healthy for the end of the season. So it's a way to like take it easy with Barrett but also get him some reps, start getting him some action. Hell yeah. I think, I think give him right. five reps, yeah. whatever, and then yeah. give him 10. And then, fit, I mean, it seems like if you can get him up to full speed by late December, you've done, yeah. your, you've done it right. You've done it right. right. If you get him hurt in three games, you really messed up. Yeah. Or, or maybe there's nothing you could do. But takes exercise like caution here. Takes like that from you, Grant, really justify that $3 million offer. I'm trying. Yeah. I think nah, I give them the benefit of the doubt that if they can figure it out at right guard, they'll figure it out at, at corner two. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the plan. Yeah, I think yeah. it might be. Yeah. I hope so. Uh, I hope so. Wilson couldn't throw a Hail Mary, Hail Mary 45 yards. No, and neither could Jimmy. Uh, Wilson played well for Miami. Niners got to face Wilson in a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Not ideal. Josue Torres says, Grant, I'm in your Discord. Let's play Call of Duty with Kyler Murray. Man, I haven't played Call of Duty since it was on PlayStation 2. I'm horrible. My kids try to play me at that, and I just I get murdered like 20 times, and I'm horrible at Call of Duty. I played I mean, a lot of Halo 2 in college, mm -hmm. and my, I got decent at that game, but it, I feel like at 34, my hand-eye coordination would be shot, and I wouldn't be any good. Maybe that's I'm what thinking. it is. I'm 43. Maybe that's what is what's going on. No, I, I heard that like the like the best video game players in the world are all like 20, 21, and once oh, they I hit believe. 23, they're washed. That's what I heard. I believe that's it. That's what I heard. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> It would be fun to like cover video game players for a living. Like this twenty three year old is washed. You can't even hit the target anymore. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Marquise Jones. Said, bust. Marquise Jones says Jimmy is definitely the same quarterback. But how how can you be mad? How can you be that bad with everything we have on offense? He I mean, wasn't that bad last week. So maybe he'll be super efficient. Maybe now that he has a check down option that's really good, he'll it'll it'll elevate his numbers. I mean, I don't know. Like, Drew, he wants to be Drew Brees. He sees himself as Drew Brees. Yeah. Well, Drew Brees always had, part of his success in New Orleans was the check down guy. It was originally Reggie Bush. Then it was Darren Sproles. Then it was Alvin Kamara. I mean, that was always there. So, yeah. I think, I mean, the 49, I think the 49ers know Jimmy is Jimmy. And even if they get really far with Jimmy this year, uh, I think they still know who he is. And he, he's probably more valuable to them as a trade asset if, if they go really far than he is as a quarterback moving forward. Gizmo says, I can't believe the Jets are better than the Niners. I can. But look, look, I I can't tell you who a, who a good coach is going to be, like people I haven't met, but I knew Robert Sala. I yeah. knew him very well, and I had a very strong feeling that he was a legit leader and um, coach and teacher. Because to be a head coach, you got to be all that. Legit, you have to be a leader, you have to be a legit teacher. And I know that he is because I know him. He he performed those functions for my career, me. And I don't even I don't play for him. It was nothing in it for him. I knew he was legit. Yeah. So the only question for me with him was, who's your offensive coordinator? You know, who's your quarterback going to be? And yeah. so far, it seems like they're doing okay, and he's doing great with his defense. And so not surprised. Yeah. Well, I mean, I am a little surprised about Miami. I didn't know that Mike McDaniel had this internet uh, leadership quality, but he clearly yeah. has a confidence that people feed off of. Yeah, I was I was. Uh a little curious about how Mike McDaniel would work out as a leader of men, right. football players that are, he doesn't look like a coach. Salah does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but he, you know, he's that brain, man. He's got, he's smart. He knows, and he's good. Great with people, you know, 
He is really great with people, unlike some co- coaches I know. Yeah. Flave says, Kittle, Jennings, Mitchell, Wilson, Debo, only first-round talent on O is B.A. and now McCaffrey. People act like these guys were legit before Kyle. Without Kyle, you're talking about a bunch of fourth-round plus talent. Hmm. I don't think that – I think that Kittle and Debo were legit – Like, tr- I mean – the fact that Debo could take a screen on third and 20 and go 80 yards, I don't think that was necessary. If you go back and watch that play, it wasn't like Kyle found a new way to scheme up a screen to get space. for De- Debo was creating his own space for a solid year where you could just put him at running back. Nah, nah. Now, maybe he helped develop Debo. Like, I could, I, I could see, you know, I could see that. But it wasn't the scheme that made I Kittle think- great at 25. Yeah, I think all those players, are they're, they're talent, they're skill players, they're – they're who they are because of who they are. I think the only one that you can really make a case for that was made by Kyle Shanahan would be Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah. And maybe Jimmy made Kyle. That's that could be like the uh, the usual suspects twist at the end where you just drop your your mug. Oh my god, it was Jimmy all along. Right. Don't bother me, says does it feel Kyle is trying to become a pass first offense? Last game, first play was a pass as well as Jimmy throwing thirty plus times a game. It kind of feels like he f- is feeling the pressure to get the ball to his playmakers. I mean, after that game against Kansas City, both Ayuk and George Kittle appeared to be pointing the finger at Kyle publicly. Like, hey, man, we got playmakers. We can't score. Get us the freaking ball when we need it. And all of a sudden, he's like, all right, Ayuk, you know, got you, got you. I I don't know. It is a little interesting because they win when they run the ball. And uh, if they try that against the Chargers, they just might give away a game they should win. Well, I think, you know, Kyle's got to be smart. I mean, he's a smart guy. He's got to be smart enough to understand that you can't win in this league unless you can put up points quickly. And in order to do that, you have to have some kind of passing game. So maybe he's just waking up a little bit. Thoughts on the rumor of us pursuing OBJ. I don't understand the sales pitch for Beckham. Hey, bud, do you want to have signed for the vet men and get like three targets a game off the bench? Maybe three. What do you say? Maybe I mean, they, maybe if that's the best offer he gets, but I would think there'd be a team that could give him more. If, if the Niners start going on a roll and it looks like they may be favorites for like a Super Bowl appearance, I could see OBJ wanting to sign up for that just to get a ring. But other than that, yeah, you're right. He's not going to he's not going to get a lot of targets on this team. And if, if, if you know, if they're not winning, he's not going to want to sign up for that. Lucky Louise says, Grant, never listen to Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. That's a good never one. Heard of it. Never that's heard a good of it. one. Yeah. I wasn't in a rock growing up, but that's a good song. I guess there's like people consume music differently. Some people really get into like like the Beatles or Jay Z or Metallica, and it's kind of like it's not really you put it on a party. You put it on to like pay attention and take notes and be like, oh my god, you hear that little that little guitar riff right there? That was amazing. And it's like yeah, okay. Like I like music too, but it's more like the you know something to throw on in my car is like the soundtrack to my day or like something we dance to like. It doesn't have to be that serious. So like, to me, Metallica is a very serious artiste yeah. band. Where it's like, man, if you don't know Track 17 on their fourth album, like, it's like, okay, all right, man, you got me. You got me. I'm just going to listen to freaking Bad Boy. Like, Who's your favorite records, rap group? You know what I'm saying? Rap group. My favorite, favorite, favorite rap. rap group? Um, Oh, man, I don't know. I'm going with Outkast. Favorite rap? Outkast. Outkast or Tribe Called Quest. Maybe Wu-Tang. But those are those are my three. Can I think about it and give the answer at the yeah. end of the show? Yeah, because that's, that's a really serious question. I can't just I'll throw one out. Probably my favorite. I'm not gonna go. I got to think about this. I'm gonna think. It's a good question though. James J says, "Here's five bucks. Very appreciate that." Outcast is a good one. It's a strong one. Michael Carroll says, "How much better can we make McDaniel's Dolphins? Wouldn't that be funny if we see them at the end of the season?" Yeah, I mean, is there anyone else we can give to that team? Who else do the Niners not want that they could take? Coaches, players. I'm amazed that everyone knows how Trey is going to develop without him playing a full season. Yeah, man. I mean, you go back to last season and just pull up tweets of, of uh, people talking about Justin Fields this time last year. People were saying nice things. Trey Lance is trending on tw- on sports Twitter right now, and he's not even <laughs> he's not even playing right now. Michael Carroll says, if the Niners keep being the Niners and getting hurt per usual, OBJ might be clutch in the playoffs. Change my mind. Um, Possible. Yeah. Yeah, but dude, I mean, that's another guy who's been hurt a million times, getting older. What is what is Odell Beckham Jr. coming off the latest a- ACL at thirty? Yeah, I, I don't think know. Odell's gonna want to jump on a Super Bowl contender towards the end of the season, whoever that is. That's what he's gonna try to do. Um, Wu Tang is for the babies. I love Wu Tang. Um, Wave Boys says Ghetto Boys. That's a really good answer. I might go UGK. 
one of those two. Get your case good. You could, I mean, there's so many good ones, but I might go with one of those.